Lecturer at the T.A. Marshall Community College, David Ambrose, who writes under the name D.E. Ambrose, completed a short story detailing life on the road as a driver and pedestrian travels in the south of the island. In an interview with JBN on Tuesday, Ambrose explained his book entitled Zone One. The story is all about what's taking place in the south. And it, it takes place on uh, Christmas Eve. And you know, traffic on Christmas Eve in Grand Dance is a killer. So it, it, the story follows a, a motor officer of the RGPF as he patrols Zone 1, you know, trying to regulate the, the, the whole traffic scene. You know, motorists who are, who are unlicensed. Um, you know, bus drivers hurrying all over the place, pedestrians crossing the road where they shouldn't cross, those kinds of stories. To deliver a message through entertaining and creative writing is what Ambrose is striving to accomplish. I was inspired to write so as to send a message perhaps that, you know, everybody, motorists and pedestrians, could use that part of Grenada better in terms of how we share the environment. How drivers share the road, how pedestrians and drivers could live, I should say, harmoniously. And I, I wanted to put it down in words and make it an exciting story. And uh, don't panic, I'm not bashing busmen and things like that in the story. Um, how should I say? Everybody gets a lash. <laughs> Ambrose speaks with pride as he recounts the publishing of his first two books. White Spice is my first publication. I published it in, in 2015 and it is a crime thriller which is set right here in Grenada and it, again it's another police story and it's one of those anti-drug trafficking stories. My second book is a cultural piece, a docudrama set in Karakou. I call it That Time in Bogles, a Karakou tale and it follows a boy who spends his, his Easter vacation in Karakou and he learns all about the, the lifestyle of the people of Karakou, you know, how close they are to the African heritage and things like that. So in that story, lots of, lots of food, lots of music, traditional string band music and so on, um, kite flying, the works. And the story takes place over the Easter break. So everything that happens in the dry season happens to him in that two week uh, period in Karakou in that story. The lecturer of communications at TAMCC said he intends to write more short stories while working on completing a sequel to White Spice. His books are not available in stores, but can be found online via Amazon. He also promotes his book during expositions. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.